Hey everyone, this is Samir. Welcome back to MDM 9.0 Compliance Retrieval Service Upgrade Demo. In this video, we are going to talk about upgrading from previous NAC service to new NAC service, which is Compliance Retrieval Service. So in the part one in our previous video, we discussed on uh, device profile configurations on Microsoft Intune, such as how to configure tester certificate and PKCS SEP certificate profiles and also the VPN profiles. So now in this video, let's look at the big IP part. So before we upgrade the big IP to new NAC version, certificate authentication infrastructure should be created. So we need to create PFX certificate and also the CA certificate big IP profiles. And let's look at the big IP. Uh, I have the following versions on big IP, uh, which is currently running 1516 version, which has this 1516 version has old NAC service. Uh, and uh, the new version is 1518. So I'm going to upgrade to this 1518 version now. So the, which has new NAC service. So let's look at like, for example, if we connect my mobile now, I have an iOS device now. So if I connect, so it uses old NAC service. So my mobile is connecting now. So I can see the compliance service here is the device is enrolled. This is an MDM instance ID. Okay, so that means it, it is using actually old NAC service. And also, if you look at the local cache entries, so the local cache entry looks like this. So it has all the information and the compliance status, which is enrolled and the times. But after upgrading, so the local cache entry looks different. And also at the same time, uh, it uses Intune device ID here instead of the signed blob. So that is actually extracted from the certificate URI part, which we have seen in the previous video. So if you look at the MDM uh, configuration wise, there is no change. And we are going to see the change only in terms of SSL profile and also the access policy. But with respect to the MDM EMS object, there is no difference. So let's upgrade my big IP and see what exactly uh, we're going to change and what we have to configure uh, for new NAC service for a certificate authentication setup. So I'm going to upgrade this big IP now. It takes some time. So after reboot, the big IP comes up with a new image, uh, which is 1518. So this image has now running new NAC service, which is compliance retrieval service. So we can see the new image version here. So earlier it was active and now the 1518 is an active image. So if we go back to big IP UI, uh, there is no change in the MDM uh, in Intune EMS object. And the only change is, so in the SSL profile, so now we have to set the require. If you open this MDM SSL profile, so this is the client SSL profile, which uh, I have attached this profile in the virtual server. So in this, so we have to give the certificate keychain value. So first uh, we have to, get the pfx certificate and uh, ca certificate from our certificate authority server and then we have to import into the big ip system certificate management so once we import so we have to create a client SSL profile so basically if you go to system certificate management there is an ssl certificate here so we have to import here our pfx certificate and ca certificate so then we have to create SSL, client SSL certificate profile. So here we have to just click on add and then select your certificate here. So once you import there, so we, uh, we can see in the client SSL profile, just select that and set the client certificate mode to require. For this require mode, we must provide the certificate from the client device. So this is a prerequisite. We must set up a certificate based authentication setup for this and also provide your uh, CA certificate 
in MDM trusted certificate authorities. So this is trusted certificate authority. So this CTA certificate we have to provide. So this is one change uh, we have to do. And next if we go to access profile. So in the access policy, uh, I have created for four uh, devices, Android, iOS, Mac OS and Windows. So Android and iOS devices, you can see there is no variable as an agent. But for Mac OS, there is a variable as an agent here. So if we are using default Intune device ID, for example, for iOS device, there is a default Intune device ID. As we discussed in the previous demo, Intune device ID. So this is a default one. So if we use this default Intune device ID, there is no variable as an agent is required. But if we use custom device ID like this, any string other than the default device into an ID value. So we should use variable assign agent in the access policy. My Mac device is using custom device ID. So for that, what I have to provide in the variable assign agent. So we need to create this variable, add this variable mdm.intune.id underscore prefix. And whatever the custom string that we are going to use in the PKCS or a CEP profile in the URI attribute. So till the device ID value. So we have to provide as a value for prefix variable. So till this slash we have to provide here. So this is the way we have to create a variable as an agent. So since Android and iOS devices are not using a custom variable as an agent. So if we need not to add any variable as an agent. So I have here uh, MDM st endpoint status, logon page, resource assign. So resource assign contains network access resource. So these are the two changes uh, in the MDM NAC 2.0 compliance retrieval service. And if you just go to virtual server. So virtual server side, there is no change. Uh, so we can keep as it is. And assign this access profile, whatever we have the new configuration and also the client SSL profile, which is contains require mode. So we need to attach here and connectivity profile. So these are the mandatory parameters. And suppose in case if you are not going with the client SSL profile, so we can also configure the and demand uh, certificate authentication. So in access policy, you can have on demand certificate agent. So where actually you can configure the authentication modes. So require and request. So we can do either client SSL profile authentication or we can have on demand certificate authentication. So in case if we are using on demand set earth, so we need to assign variable use. We need to use variable assign agent after the on demand set. So this is uh, the rule we have to follow. Uh, in case of on demand cert, we can set the client certificate mode to ignore here and in the access policy on demand certification agent. So we can configure require. So either of the way we can achieve a uh, compliance retrieval service. Uh, but in this demo, I'm going to use require mode in the client certificate and with the without on demand certification agent. So now let's connect my mobile same iOS device. And we can see here now uh, it uses Intune device ID. So which is enrolled and compliant. And even in the session dump, so we can see the URI Intune device ID is assigned with the Intune device ID, uh, which is provided by the MDM vendor. Uh, we can see in the uh, hardware information of uh, device enrolled device and we can see the device ID is using the same device ID uh, which is from the certificate URI attribute and MS compliance service is one. So that means it is using new compliance retrieval service. So this is the way we have to verify and if you go to local cache. So local cache the Intel shows only non compliant devices, but uh, with access policy execution uh, 
so the a new entry added so we can see uh, it, it here it shows the intune device id and the compliance status so this is the way uh, we can check whether it is using compliance retrieval service or not yeah that's it from the demo thank you